Hello YouTube, this is ShadowWolf810, and today I'm going to tell you how to install mods on Minecraft. Now this is going to be a general tutorial for all mods, and I'm not just going to do a particular one. So uh, some of the steps may be a bit different depending on what mod you're installing, but they're basically all the same. So first off, I'm just going to show you that Minecraft works. You know, you log in, black screen, ah, Mojang, there you go. So single player, here's all my different worlds. Um, any of you who watch my Let's Play, which is very awesome, and you guys should all watch it, no about this world this is my uh my what is it just world three i don't know it's got a better name than that but uh i don't know i'm actually kind of far away from my house at the moment but uh yeah so as you can see right now i've actually got bullets on me and that's because i've got if my inventory would open what the hell hang on the shit no Oh, it changed my button. That's not nice. Okay, um, sorry, I did a dry run of this thing a second ago. Anyway, moving on. Um, I was going to show you that in my inventory, which is apparently E now, I have parts for airplanes, because I have an airplane mod currently. So there you go, bullets, metal tail, propellers, all that good stuff. So, damn it. Okay, that's going to be really annoying. I just pushed I and nothing happened. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, so as you can see, everything works good. I've got some mods installed. Now, what you're going to want to do, and I still have all my worlds too. That's another good thing. Hit your start button, and if you're on Windows 7, then you can use the search bar here, and you're going to type in percent app data percent A-P-P-D-A-T-A, and it'll bring you to this little roaming folder. So you're going to open that, and the first thing in that folder should be .minecraft. Now, that's going to have all your saves, all your mods, uh, texture packs, blah, 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 anything else you may have. Now, I'm going to be deleting this, but before you do anything messing with mods, you want to back up your world so you don't come crying to me like, Shadow Wolf, I lost my world because cause you told me to delete this folder. Yeah, shut up. So you're going to want to make a folder on your desktop. Just call it Worlds or something. Just just back up your files just in case you know any of you are smart enough out there to understand that lingo. Here in your Saves folder... That's obviously where your saves are. Uh, there you go, World 3 guinea pigs. You saw those earlier. You're going to want to move those into that world's folder. You don't need to copy them. Just move them. And uh, now what you're going to want to do is delete your .minecraft folder. Don't worry. I'm like, April Fool's, huh? You just fucked yourself over. No. But uh, it's close to April Fool's, I guess. I don't know. But uh, moving on. Now what you're going to want to do is keep this folder open, but you're going to open up Minecraft. And it's going to make you re-type your crap in. Shadow Wolf 810. Shadow Wolf. Damn it. I just start, I actually started typing that. Uh, there we go. And then type that. There you go. Uh, I just like to have it remember my password. But now it's going to re-download all the files that have updated Minecraft. So it's still going to be 1.4 or whatever. But you're not going to have any of your... Blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. You're not going to have any of your worlds in the folder. So that's mostly because you put all your worlds right here. So as you can see, Minecraft loaded up fine. Single player, no world. And as you can see right here, it's still beta 1.4. So that's good. Now you have, that's what, what you just did is called making a clean Minecraft folder. Uh, because if you try to install mods in one version, then Minecraft updates. And then you try to install the newer ones, then uh, it'll screw you up. So... Here you go, you got a clean Minecraft folder. Now you're going to want to get your mods. So to get mods, go to minecraftforum.net and you can come down here to released mods. And now here's a very wide selection of mods, but uh, all mostly, uh, let's see, if I could speak, all of these say 1.4 as you can see here. This one, however, is still 1.3.1 and that's because it hasn't been updated yet. So every time Minecraft has an update, then you're going to have to update your mods. So uh, basically all these different mods, uh, I can't say, oh, go to this page and they'll be right here. Uh, let's see, I've never downloaded this mod before, but just for sake of whatever, uh, sake of this video, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to look at it. Here you go. There's the mod right there. Download that. You know, and it says you need mod loader. Okay. So you just download the things that the uh, Minecraft forum mod post tells you you need. And then there you go. Now I've already done this. These are all the mods I have and everything I need to use to make them uh, 
work basically so I've downloaded all the files already you're gonna need a archiving program aka WinRAR you can get that for free on Google so yeah I, I may put a link in the description but maybe if maybe if I'm feeling lucky you know or generous I guess would be the better word but now you're gonna want to go into your dot minecraft folder as you can see here uh, app data all that good stuff now you're gonna go into bin and then Minecraft right here, you're going to right click that, hit open, and then do RINRAR Archiver or any other archi archiving software. Uh, and it makes you want to buy it after your trial, but you can still use it, so don't worry. So here's the Minecraft jar file. Here are your mods. Now, uh, I'll just go down the list, I guess. Audio mod, just double click it. It'll open up another RINRAR Archiver thing. So now, anything that's in here... Uh, well, let's see. Let's explain this a little better. Anything that's dot class goes in your Minecraft jar file. Now, usually when you download mods, they'll be organized well enough so you know which of the three folders you're going to want to put stuff in. Because there's three different places, I guess, that you're going to put parts of mods. So here you go. Audio mod, everything in here goes into the Minecraft jar file. Be sure to drag it over the classes down here and not over a folder because you wouldn't want it to go in there. Now you see this little this little bitch right here, meta INF, you're gonna want to delete that because uh, it basically inhibits mods from working. So delete that and now you can go back up and here is, we're gonna do mod loader next just to uh, make sure everything works correctly. You usually want to do audio mod and mod loader first, those are usually the two that you uh, need for most mods. So uh, mod loader, as you can see everything's dot class well, most of it anyway. Uh, so you're going to put that in the jar file, all of those. There you go. Back up. Now we do, um, let's just do this one just for the sake of the video. Uh, and as you can see here, this one's organized. You can see resources, Minecraft jar, Minecraft folder. Minecraft folder means the dot Minecraft folder, not this jar thing here. Obviously, Minecraft jar means that, and resources I'll show you later. So you open up the jar folder, and there you go. There's all your stuff that you're going to need in the jar file for this particular mod. So you're going to want to select all of that, drag it on over here, then hit OK. And so there you go, copied all that. Now here's the Minecraft folder. This is the where to go. This is the bin dot Minecraft. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Dot Minecraft? Yeah? Okay. So everything in there that's in the uh let's see. What they call it? The Minecraft folder, that's going to go in here. Now right here, just drink uh, drag that in. That's basically options for this mod. You can go in there and change some of the options. I won't do that uh, in this video. But now you're going to want to go to resources, as you can see right there. And you're going to go into resources. Now, as you can see, there's a folder called mod here. And uh, you don't have that because you haven't installed any mods yet. So what you're going to want to do is make a new folder and name it mod, exactly the same. And then you're going to go over here. Next one is sound. So you're going to go inside this mod folder in your Minecraft jar file. And then go to folder. And, or actually, that's not the jar file. Excuse me. That's just the dot Minecraft folder. But now you're going to want to type sound. Hit that. And now there's another folder in here. That's creep sounds. So you're going to go in here and then copy this over to here. There you go. So now those have all the sounds of uh, the mod that you just installed or in the process of installing. Anyway, moving on. So, you got the Minecraft jar files in the jar file, which, that that's so redundant, which is, oops, wrong one, which is uh, right over here. And then you put all the, the one thing, Minecraft, or more creeps. I can't talk right now, I apologize. Uh, you put that in the dot Minecraft folder, and you put the resources, which is the sound, in the resources folder. So there you go. Now you're going to go back into your uh, folder right here. You can I, you can close this if you want and go click on different ones, whatever. But uh, now I'm going to install this one because you need this for the planes. So I've got uh, basically the uh, more creeps mod and planes. Uh, I would have the more critters or more creatures or whatever mod, but uh, it hasn't been updated yet, so you can't install it till it's updated. But here you go. In here, you've got cl dot .class stuff, so where does it go? It goes in the Minecraft jar file. Where else would it go? So now you go back up, and then another thing you have to install is the planes, and there you go. you got jar files and resource files. So in jar files, damn it, there you go. You're going to want to just control A for easy selectivity, drag it over to here, and hit OK. There you go. Bring it back up. And in the resources file, you got mod again, sound again, and then there's all the sounds. So you're going to go back into your uh, Minecraft 
dot minecraft folder as you can see you're going to go into resources mod sound and then just right in here you can go ahead and copy that boom okay and go back up and now I need this it's a dot class file so where's it gonna go guys it's gonna go in the jar file where else would it go so you're gonna bring that right over there wabam okay and you're gonna go back up and now this is a spitfire which is a special plane that you can download as you can see it's a jar file so you're gonna take all these and bring it into the jar folder wabam okay now you've successfully downloaded these two mods now uh, some mods will be organized different like I said in the beginning of the video like as you can see here this one just has stuff and it doesn't really tell you oh these are jar files but uh, I think this one yeah th no damn it hold on if you run out of your trial version of uh, WinRAR it always says oh you have to buy it but you really don't anyway uh, as you can see here that's the Minecraft Minecraft jar resources so it they'll be organized a little bit differently depending on who made the mod but you can figure it out hopefully from this video so now the next thing you're gonna wanna do actually I uh, closed out of it by accident go back to your app data folder click roaming and then go into minecraft and then go into your saves now you're gonna wanna take your worlds and copy paste them or just move them back into here that way all your worlds are still in minecraft so now we're gonna go ahead and load up minecraft once again if you don't get a black screen then you did it correctly there you go uh... make sure you delete that meta inf folder that inf whatever uh... folder that's usually what messes it up uh, if you don't delete that and you install mods, so there you go. Single player, there's all my worlds. World three, play selected world, and whoa bam! So there you go. Back right where I was, still got my bullets, still got my E that's on the wrong button. You got your, you know, wings, all that good stuff. So there you go, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or I don't know what else you would have. Cupcakes for me, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Uh, any of those things, leave them in the comment sections. I'll try to get back to you. And if you have a specific question, be sure to send me a message. But that's all for now, guys. I hope this tutorial has helped you, and I'll see you all later.